time for an episode of Things You Never Thought a Tape Recorder Could Do. And today on Things You Never Thought a Tape Recorder Could Do, we are going to put pictures onto audio tape. That's right. Pictures onto audio tape. I've got a little thing that, a little program on the computer that will encode the pictures to sound and put them on audio tape. And on my other computer here, we're going to decode those sounds back into pictures. So, let's get started. These are the three pictures that I'm going to put onto the tape. This is the first one. And there's this one, which I'm pretty sure you've seen on my channel. And finally this one. So those are the three we're going to put onto tape. Now I have the first one already loaded up into a program called Audio Paint. So now I'm going to convert that into a sound so it can be recorded onto the tape. And the tape recorder is connected up to the audio out on this computer. And the audio out of this tape recorder is connected to the audio in on this computer. So let's turn this into a sound. When, the, when that progress bar gets to the end we will hear it. Also, we would hear it if it was on the source. Now I'm just doing this to get the volume levels um, adjusted. I'll, ju I'll just play that again. To make sure it does not overdrive. Okay, it's still overdriving just a little bit. The sound you heard was coming through these speakers because I told you before this um, the output is connected up to there so anyway um, now it's time to record these onto the tape and then decode them again later so that is now recording and I'll play this again Turn the volume up a little. So there's the first picture onto the tape. Now let's do the other two. You may notice I am not pausing the camera at any point. I'm making sure this is all one shot. So you'll know there is absolutely no editing that's going on. Now I'll turn this one into a sound which won't take so long because it's not as big. Right, let's record that now. So that's the second picture on the tape. Now for the third picture. Of course it would help if I was pointing the camera at the thing so you could actually see what I'm doing. So, third picture now. We'll now convert this into a sound. And I'll start that tape recorder recording the instant that's finished. Um, processing. And there we go, the three pictures are now on the tape. Now I'm going to wind the tape back to the start. Man, that's annoying. OK, 
Okay, so the tape is now queued up, ready. And now start Call Edit Pro recording. I can't believe I found this. I didn't even know I had this. I just found this on a disc. But anyway, let's start it recording. We only need mono recording. Okay, so that is now at recording. I'll start the tape. Tape wasn't very good there. Okay, so there are the three pictures on the tape. And there was a bit of a, was a few dropouts I heard on the tape, but um, not much I can do about that. Didn't realise the tape was that bad, but anyway, let's um, let's save this now. I'm sure I'll call it Pix. P I X. Now, I open this in a program which I've got called Sonic Visualizer. And there's the file right there. Pix.wave. So there are the three sounds. The three pictures encoded as sounds. Now this is, um, can do a spectrogram analyzer. In fact, you can do this in any, any audio, um, any audio editor that has a spectrogram on it. I'm using this one. Now I'll go to add spectrogram. And these are the three pictures we have right here. You may be able to see the resemblance. I'm going to have to zoom these out because these are very zoomed in. So I'll just zoom them out. And now you can see those three pictures. I think that's where the one, one of the dropouts in the tape was. You can see some dark bands on the picture there. Now this works best if I have this on white on black. And set the scale here to linear. No, do not set the scale to linear, set the scale to meter. And there you can see the three pictures from the tape. Now let's just see if we can get the quality a little better here. I mean, this first one has not come out very good. Okay, that's a little better. Because my hand shakes on the camera. Let's see if we can find a better scale. No, I think linear seems to be the best. Let's see if we can brighten this up a little. And there it is. There is pictures on audio tape. This has gone a bit dark. I'll just brighten it up so we can see it better.
So anyway, I'm running out of time now, so I better stop the camera before the um, before I reach the 10 minute limit. Oh, I've already done 10 minutes and 20 seconds, so better go.